My wife and I bought this farm sight unseen off the internet in 2008. Uh, by 2010, we were ready to come back to Canada from uh, lives working overseas in Latin America. I was an avid home brewer. I planted hops here on the farm when we moved here. I realized shortly thereafter that we had a very good water supply for some excellent quality beer. And that led to plans for big spruce. We're slow in particular about how we make our beer. We do no filtration, no pasteurization. We're also the first to have been certified organic as a brewery here in the Maritimes. You know, back to the land, uh, using a unique water source, some unique ingredients that we grow here, uh, and creating a, a terroir beer. It's that kind of daily interaction, your ability to make something with your hands, put it in people's hands on a daily basis, and see and gauge their reaction to it. Um, vastly different from what I was doing previously in my life, and really the main, main reason I did this business and main reason I keep doing this business and love it so much. Cape Breton Farmers Market in Sydney, Nova Scotia is to this day our single biggest retail sales day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. We really believe in the whole uh, local food movement. Craft beer is just one component of that, uh, that movement. Friday, Saturdays and Sundays we do something at Big Spruce called Farm to Fork Food Truck Weekends. Uh, the folks from Cruise and Cuisine come in with their food truck and prepare internationally inspired, 100% locally procured ingredient uh, small, small meals. You can sit with your food, uh, enjoy live music, and enjoy beer samples and flights from our uh, taps right here at the brewery. Doesn't make sense here in Nova Scotia that 93% of people's beer money is spent on beer not from this province. We need to find ways to keep our money in this province. Uh, and one way you can really impact uh, um, the money that stays here and trickles down to other businesses here is by focusing your purchases on Nova Scotian craft beer.